Regina Brown. After watching this episode and seeing the option to buy the series, I have never paid to download a movie so fast. Laugh out loud. Good job on the series as a whole and for those who are contemplating downloading the whole series, it's worth it. Well, thank you Regina for downloading the video. I'm so happy that you enjoyed it. I know you're looking for more. To all the fans who continue to support us and download the movie and tell your friends about it and spread the word about the movie, thank you so much. Hey guys, my name is Anne Elizabeth and I'm on the Clark Atlanta University Close Friends Fanatic Pass and I want to know what are you guys a fan of? <laughs> Can you please just be 100% honest with me? Because I'm sick and tired of fighting with you, Marcus. Kira, look. I have a daughter. And her name is Marquia. And my baby mother's name is Nia. Mom! Well, hello to you, too. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. About me, I have an offer talent. You guys got nothing to worry about. There she comes. So, ladies, since we're here, I wanted to actually ask something about work. Ooh, what you want to know? Mm -hmm. What's the deal with Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to know? Is he seeing anyone? Nathan, who? Nathan, Nathan. You remember from middle school, high school, and college? Wait. Valerie's Nathan? That Nathan, I knew it. You young girls used to chase those boys all the time. You were fighting then, and you're fighting now. Look, no one's fighting over anyone. He's already chose. All right, I'm staying with Stacy. Mm -hmm. To sort out the schedule. Okay. I was... Oh, hey. Hey, what's um, up? Whitney, this is my soon-to-be husband, Nathan. How you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kira! Yeah, what's wrong with her? I don't know. Kira! What do you want now? I just need some more money. More money for what? I just gave you money. You blew that cash already? Look, I haven't even touched that money yet. However, I do got some overdue bills that I need more money to pay. B what bills? I pay all the bills. Why you gotta be so scrub-like? I just need to know where my money is going. Okay, so let me be honest. I need to get my hair done, my nails done, the car detailed. <laughs> Besides, I need to pay my mama for watching Marquia. <laughs> You're funny, you know that? Why don't you try getting a part-time job to help pay some of those bills? You ever think about that? Oh, this boy took me for a part-time job? Yeah. Me. You. You're real funny. You know what? Leave. Marcus, you really gonna make me beg? Or do I have to do it like I did last time? Stop! You gonna leave my house 
One way or another. Or what? You gonna hit me? Hit me again? You know what? Don't even talk crazy. You know I never put my hands on you. Yeah, but the police don't know that. Something really is wrong with you. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, hey, hey, babe, how you doing? I, I, I just about to call you. Oh, you did call me. I did? Yeah, and you left a message. Oh, who is she? I mean, who the hell is this? Um, excuse me, who are you talking to? Hold on, ladies, relax, stop. Kira, th this is Ania. Th th my daughter's mother. Oh, really? Yes, really. What is she doing here anyway? Um, excuse me, this is my house. This is where I live, so you're gonna have to watch your tone in my house. Oh, hell no. Marcus, you really gonna have this girl talking to me, the mother of your child like She's that? She's right. You need to show us some respect. Respect? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Are you gonna give me what I need or not? How many different ways do I have to say this for it to register in your thick skull? No, no, no. No. <laughs> okay. You can leave. You know what? You heard him. Who even talking to her? Stop. I said, you heard him. Babe, relax. Don't act like you deaf, you heard him. Relax, babe, stop. You know what? Both of you, <laughs> I don't have time for this. But mark my words. This isn't over. <laughs> What's not over? Stop. Wait, I was just Don't. Gonna, I would, I Don't. Take you away from here. I'll take you. No girl, I won't forsake you. I need you in my world. Baby, thing is that I need you. You can't see me without you. That's why you are my girl. I just wanna be wrapped up around. I'm so gone off the things you. Okay, so remember, my mom is gonna try and play tough because this is her first time meeting you as my man, okay? So just play cool. Relax, moms love me. I hope so, for your sake. <laughs> hey, mom. Hey. How are you? Doing good. Good. Well, I wanted you to meet Nathan. What's up, moms? I know who you are. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, where are my manners? It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, let's sit. So, mom, you do remember Nathan? I do. When you were a little boy, you used to chase that girl, Valerie. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That's true. But let me ask you something. What are you seeing in my daughter that you didn't see in Valerie? Mom. What? Seriously? Nathan, you don't have to answer that. No, it's fine. Uh, to be honest, with Valerie, it was, the, the spark wasn't there like it is with me and Tori. Uh, I was infatuated with her for a long time, but it was really only because she had me in the friend zone and I really wanted to get out. But the whole time, me and Tori just clicked since middle school. And, I know everything about your daughter. Something about her that just keeps me coming home to her every night. <laughs> Wait a minute. You two are living together? Oh, right. I was going to mention it today, but I, I guess Nathan got around to it first. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. No need to apologize. So how long have you two been shacking up together? I wouldn't necessarily call it shacking up. 
Yeah, we're just practicing for this moment, you know, for when we finally get married. You can spin it all you want to, but when I was a little girl, I would have got the switch for it. But wait, Mom, didn't you and Dad live together before you were married? Honey, that was the 80s and we... This is about you. You're right. It's about me getting married to Tori, and I just want to remind you that I love your daughter a lot. And uh, we both left the people that we were with to be with each other, and we don't regret it one bit. No. So I wanted to formally meet you as her man so I could get your blessings to marry your daughter. Don't you think you should talk to her father? Well, Mom, you know Dad is stationed in Germany. Okay, I'm just teasing you two. Listen, I think you're genuine. You two make a cute couple. That means cute grandbabies. <laughs> you two have my blessing. Yes, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Bring it in, Mom. <laughs> So, we just heard the news. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Finally found that one. Some Thank people you. never find that. Put you off the market, more girls for me. <laughs> you got it, man. Your world. Are you really going to go through with this? Yeah, I think it's about that time. Good. Well, I'm happy for you. Hey, what's all the commotion about? <clears throat> oh, I was just telling the crew that I uh, just got engaged. Really? Yeah. You? <laughs> I mean... I never thought I'd get married either, but she's pretty special, and I figured I might as well lock it down before somebody else does. That's cute. Congrats and all that, and I definitely wish you the best. Okay, so have you two picked a date? Um, no, not quite yet, but we're looking at more of a late summer, earlier fall date. Okay, that gives me like a month to play with. Um, do you have any particular themes or color schemes in mind? Well, I was thinking a classic black and white wedding. Okay. Yeah, with some red in there too. Red? Yeah, my favorite color. You okay with that? Remember, it's our wedding. <laughs> Okay, fine. Fantastic. We're making progress. Okay, so now for the fun part. Just for the record though, red frosting is disgusting. We don't have to have red frosting. Yes, we do. It has to match the color scheme. Everything doesn't have to be so uniform. Yes, it does. You really gonna do this right now? Do what? I'm just saying. We don't have to have red frosting. We can have little decorations that can go with the color scheme. So both of you are happy. I told you. Whatever. Okay, right. So back to the fun part. Who's gonna be your maid of honor? Oh, that's easy. Obviously, Kira. And uh, Nathan, what about you? Who's gonna be your best man? <sighs> that's tough. I mean, me and Kevin got real close this past year while Raheem's been gone. And Raheem seems a little different, but me and him go way back. I don't know. I have to say. So, y'all? Well, you don't have to decide right now. You can just let me know by the end of the week. Oh, chill over here whispering about. Hmm. How you doing? Hi. I'm right here. Whitney Lyles, Wait. Tori and Nathan's wedding planner. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I can ask you a question. Go ahead. Um, what you doing later? Very forward on you. Forward, backward, however you want it. Okay, I think that's my cue to leave. Yes. Say so. We'll pick up where we left off next week. Okay. I'll call you later for the details. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So you need like, you know, you need to walk you to your car or something like that? No, I'm good. Alright, uh, talk to you later. Love you. 
Bro, you gotta chill. What I do? You wanted to see me? Yeah. Have a seat. I really just wanted to touch base with you, man. What about? I don't want our personal lives affecting us here in our business relationship. Is that so? Yeah. I understand that you were pretty much the man around here, handling all the major accounts, getting everything situated. Is that true? Mm -hmm. What exactly did you do? I was basically the point guard for the transaction. Boss tells me what he wants, and I execute. Then we get the money. Simple as that. The money, huh? <laughs> nice, nice. So it seems like uh, you know what you're doing then around here. That's because I do know what I'm doing. Listen here, man. You seem so tense. Like you still hold on to that grudge. I got something to ease that pain for you, man. Come on now, you see me pour the cup right in front of you. All right, listen, there's one thing about letting a female come between a friendship, but letting a female come between your money? That's one thing I'll never let happen. Drink up, man. There you go. Rahim, I'm about to cook some tilapia and steamed veggies. Do you want some? Rahim. Rahim. What, 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 what? I'm about to make dinner. Do you want some? Yeah, whatever. Okay, um, bad news. We're out of veggies, but I do have corn. Is that okay? Rahim. What? Relax. I just want to know if corn was okay. Yes, that's fine. Like, whatever. I'm gonna eat it. What's wrong with you? <sighs> My problem is keep asking me these dumb questions when I'm busy. Do you not understand how stressed I am right now? I don't got my own place anymore. All my friends moved on with their lives, and I'm struggling to find a job. I'm struggling to be a man. Okay. I can't even provide for myself. And you ask me about corn. Tighten up, man. I'm sorry. I'm a boss. Rahim, where are you going? I'm gonna just going for a walk. Are you coming back? Rahim. Appreciate you. you know, let me kick it here last night. No problem. You know I got you. I pressing you. You ain't stressing me. Something that I just cannot do I don't wanna lead you on
this chemistry is too strong Gotta focus on me But you're the sweetest distraction Something about the way you touch me Have me as double you be Boy, you run my mind Now every song I write seems to be about you It's for you, yeah I ain't got no time to be your girlfriend no. I ain't got no time to be your girlfriend I ain't pressing you You ain't stressing me Baby, you know you got me, yeah I ain't got no time to be your girlfriend no. I ain't got no time to be your girlfriend no. Strings attached Attached to me, you know. Strings attached to me, you know. Strings attached to me, you know.